What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And in this video, I am going to be showing you how to change the number of apps per page on the Samsung Galaxy S21 homepage. Now, for those of you who don't know, this right here is my homepage, and you'll notice that the apps are organized into a grid. So here we have one, two, three, four columns, and one, two, three, four, five rows of apps. So you could say this is a four by five grid and the apps will be organized the same way on each page that you have. Now you are actually able to change that grid, which ultimately changes the number of apps that you have on each page. And this feature can be useful for a couple reasons. Maybe you are someone who doesn't like scrolling through several pages of apps and instead would rather have fewer pages, but more apps per page. In this case, you could choose a larger grid. On the other hand, maybe you are someone who prefers fewer apps or folders per page since the icons will be a bit bigger and you may be able to better tell what they are. In this case, you could choose a smaller grid. Regardless of your preference, this is how you change it. So you are going to go ahead and pull down the notification panel. Tap that gear in the top right corner. Click on home screen. And then right here, you see it says home screen grid. And you'll notice it says four by five, which I mentioned earlier is my current grid. So if I go ahead and click on that, you'll see it brings you to a page that looks like this, where it essentially shows you a preview of what your home screen currently looks like. Now, the first thing that I wanna point out is if you zoom in a little bit here, you'll notice that there's these little white dots. And those are there to essentially outline what the app grid will look like. Now on a page like this, where it's completely full of apps, that doesn't really help you because the apps are already there. But if I go to the next page right here, you'll see that this page is not completely full of apps. So you'll notice that if you take four of these white dots and form a rectangle, each of these apps fits inside that rectangle. So if you don't have a full page of apps, you can try to imagine what a full grid would look like by imagining apps in each of these rectangles. Now, just below that preview, you do have a few options. So you see that four by five is currently selected. That's my current layout. And you can choose between that, four by six, five by five, and five by six. And again, the first number corresponds to how many columns of apps and the second number to how many rows of apps. So let's just say I decide I wanna change it. I can go ahead and go through the various options to see if there's one that I like better. And once you decide you are happy with how it looks, you can go ahead and hit this save button right here. Or if you decide that you just wanna leave it how it was, you can hit cancel. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And now if we go back to my home screen, you'll see that the changes have been applied. And you can also see the entire column on the right and the row on the bottom can be filled with new apps. Now there is one thing that I do want to point out. So if we go back to those settings and we go back to the home screen grid, I want you to focus here on the Jimmy John's app. You'll notice that the name takes up two lines, but if I go to the smaller grid, you'll see it switches back to one line. And you may also have a couple similar situations where an app name may hyphenate and go on two lines, or it might display part of the name and then go dot, dot, dot. And so this does make sense with the larger grid, your apps are gonna be more scrunched together and there's gonna be less room for the name. And so I just wanted to bring that to your attention in case that's something that matters to you. All right, so that's how you change the number of apps per page on the Samsung Galaxy S21 homepage. Feel free to check out all our other S21 videos in the playlist in the top left corner. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video. You can also follow my Instagram in the description below. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.